Hi everyone, thanks for joining Matt Pilates. This is Kendall with TC Fit. Um, if you've never done Pilates before, no problem. Um, I'll walk through all the exercises, but um, get yourself a mat that has a little bit of cushion to it, um, but otherwise you can use a yoga mat as well, okay? So we're gonna start with your legs crisscross, and actually I'm gonna turn to face the side here. Just relaxing your arms down by your knees. Take a deep inhale. We're just gonna do a nice flexion forward. As you exhale, nod your chin toward your chest. Just rounding over your legs, allow your head to drape. Get a good stretch through your back and your neck. Take an inhale here. And now exhale to roll it back up, articulating through your spine, restacking, and your head is the last to return. Take an inhale. Exhale, nodding your chin, rounding it forward. Again, head is just draping. Inhale, stay. And now exhale to roll it back up. And again, take a deep inhale. Exhale, nodding your chin, rounding it forward, really hollowing out your belly. Inhale, stay. And exhale to roll it back up. And let's do one more here. Take a deep inhale. Expanding your rib cage. Exhale, nodding your chin, rounding it forward. Getting some good mobility through your spine. Take an inhale. And now exhale to roll it back up. And draw your shoulders back. Good. Reaching your arms forward. You're going to pull your elbows back. A little squeeze to your shoulder blades. And then reach it back forward. Exhale, pull. Inhale, reach forward. So from the front. This is what it looks like. And if legs crisscross is a little bit uncomfortable, you can always try legs forward and bent. Just warming up through your shoulders. Four more. Three. Two. And last one. Good. Reaching your arms down by your sides, rotating to your left. Tall posture. And unwind, same thing, other side. Back to your first side, twisting and rotating. Put a little bit of pressure into your knee. And same thing, other side. Maybe going a little bit further each time. Let's do one more each. So these are just good functional exercises. Last one. release into our mermaid place your right leg forward left leg back so you're coming into this Z position now if this is too tight for your hips you can always extend one leg out to the side okay right arm reach it up and over for a nice lateral flexion and then inhale stack it back up let's do the other side set your right hand down reach up and over so this is also a great hip mobility exercise Back to your first side, right arm reaches up and over. You may feel a stretch all the way down through your hip. And return, and left arm up and over. And return, one more of each. And back up, last one. And return. Good. Let's do the same thing on the other side. Tall posture. And left arm exhale up and over. Inhale, return. Right arm up and over. And back up. And again. And up and over. Right arm. And one more of each. So these are kind of feel good exercises as well. And last one. And return. Good. All right, let's go ahead and lie down onto your back. And let's do your traditional mat Pilates pelvic tilt. Arms long down by your sides, neutral spine, and shoulders are flush against your mat. Take an inhale. As you exhale, tucking your pelvis under into your imprint position, and then inhale, rocking back to your neutral. 
Exhale to imprint, letting go of your glutes. Inhale, neutral. Exhale, imprint. Inhale, neutral. Now we are focusing on our abdominals here. Our pelvic floor. Transverse abdominals specifically. Wraps around your entire abdomen. It helps to protect your low back. One of the many things. Let's do three more. And two. Last one. And let's go into our ab prep neutral spine. As you inhale, nod your chin. Exhale, flexing forward. Legs are parallel. Inhale, stay. And now exhale to lower back down. Inhale, nod your chin. Exhale, flex up. Inhale, stay. And exhale to lower. Inhale, nod your chin. Exhale, flex. Inhale, stay. Exhale to lower three more. Inhale, nod. Exhale, flex. Inhale, stay. And exhale to lower. Inhale, nod your chin. Exhale, flex. Inhale, stay. And exhale to lower. Last one. Inhale, nod your chin. Exhale, flex it forward. Hold it there. Now, reach your right leg up to your tabletop. Set it back down, other side. Left leg. And lower. Still reaching your arms long down by your sides, engaging your lats, scooping your shoulders under. Maintaining a neutral spine if you can. If not, find your imprint. So if you're getting any straining in your low back, get into the position that's best for you. One more each. Good, now hold it up, little pulses here. Think about reaching and trying to reach down to your ankles. Last five, four, three, two, and one. Set your upper body back down. Good, let's get into some glute work. Heels together, toes apart. So your legs are separated kind of to a V position. Now take an inhale. As you exhale, squeeze your heels together, lift your hips, and then lower back down. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. So these are more so of a froggy hip bridge. The more you squeeze your heels together, the more inner thigh engagement you'll get. So those are your adductors. So we're gonna do a couple positions here, targeting glutes and hamstrings. Lifting up, and then back down. Watching that you're not pushing into the back of your neck. Shoulder blades are flush against the mat. Four more. Three, two, last one. Now hold it up, hold, hold, hold. Now actively squeeze your heels together. It's not gonna be a movement of any kind but you're holding this position and squeezing your heels even more, little pulses. Think about engaging your hamstrings. Five, four, three, two, and one, and release. Good, railroad track position, both feet are parallel, flat down to the ground, hip, uh, hip rolls, take an inhale. Exhaling to peel your pelvis off one vertebrae at a time. Inhale at the top. And exhale to roll it back down through imprint back to neutral. Again, take an inhale, exhaling to peel. Inhale, stay. And exhale to roll it back down. One more, take an inhale, exhaling to peel. Inhale at the top. And now exhale to roll it back down. Good. Now press your hips up just to a hip bridge position. Right leg, reach it up toward the ceiling. And now bend and set it back down, other side. Left leg, reach it up, and then set it back down. So you come into a walking motion, extending one leg up to the ceiling, maintaining the height of your hips. Doing good. 
do one more each side. Last one. Nicely done, take an inhale. And now exhale to set your up your lower half back down. Good. Lastly, onto your belly or your glutes and your hands. Hands come to your forehead. Now we're going back to that same froggy position. Squeeze your heels together. This is your heel squeeze prone. Now as you exhale, think about raising the roof with your feet. And you're going to lower. So exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. Now your femur bones are gonna lift off your mat just a little bit. It's not a huge range of motion. Feet stay flexed and they're pressing straight up to the ceiling. Drawing your shoulders down. And as you lift and exhale, that's when you draw your navel toward your spine. So we're also getting into your uh, transverse abdominals. Five more. Keep squeezing your heels. Four. Three. And two. Last one. Nicely done. Okay, we're gonna go into a back extension exercise. Now, place your hands back behind your back. And we're gonna do three pulses. So, you're gonna bend, think of a hamstring curl. You're gonna do one, two, three little pulses. Reach up to extension. Open and close your legs. Turn your head, same thing, other side. One, two, three. Lift, open, close, and lower. One, two, three. Lift, open, close, and lower. One, two, three. Lift, open, close, and lower. Keep it up. One, two, three. Lift, open, close, lower. One, two, three. Lift, open, close, one more each. One, two, three. Lift, open, close, and down. One, two, three. Lift, open, close, and down. Good. Bring your arms out to goal post position. Separate your legs a little bit wider than your mat. Let's go into your breaststroke preps. Take an inhale. As you exhale, lifting up to low extension. Inhale, stay. And now exhale to lower back down. So we're gonna do a four breath pattern. Inhale, prepare. Exhaling to lift, squeeze your glutes. Inhale, stay. And exhale to lower. Inhale, prepare. Exhale, lift, pressing your pelvis into your mat. Inhale, stay. Exhale, lower. Last one, take an inhale. Exhale, lift. Inhale, stay. And now exhale to lower. Into our swimming. Both legs come parallel. Reach your arms forward. Opposite arm is leg. You're going to reach your right arm up, left leg lift, and then set it back down. Other side. Exhale, lift. So we're going to break it down at first and then speed it up. Head stays in line with your spine. Again, opposite arm is leg. Staying square through your shoulders and hips. We do an exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. One more each, then let's speed it up. Okay, here we go into your full swimming. Doing good. Five, four, three, two, and one. Release, good. Let's give you a nice cat cow stretch onto all fours. As you exhale, rounding your mid back up toward the ceiling, stretching out your back and now inhale into extension. Exhaling to round. Inhale, extend. Exhale, round. Inhale, extend. Let's do one more for good measure. Exhaling to round. And inhale to extend. Beautiful job. Go ahead and take a seat toward the front edge of your mat, and we're going to go into rolling like a ball. All right. Place your hands to the outside of your ankles, roll it off of your sits bones, and feet are lifted, inner thighs glued together. As you inhale, roll it away, and exhale, finding your balance at the top, now lengthen through your spine. Exhale, round it away, or roll it away, and return.
Now our focus is on as we roll back, you're finding contact against your mat with the low back and then mid back and then upper back and then finding your posture at the top. So we're getting your low abdominals engaged. We'll stay here for another 15 seconds, just going at your own pace. Five, four, three, two, and one. Good, set your feet down right into your roll-ups. Feet are flexed, reaching over your legs. As you inhale, roll it away, all the way down to the ground. Arms come up by your ears, inhale, hinge, Exhale, flexing forward and rounding over your legs. Inhale, roll it away. Inhale, hinge, flex it forward. So your exhales are always when you get about either halfway down or halfway up. Nice and smooth, continuous motion. This sometimes is one of the hardest mat Pilates exercises for people. It depends on torso length, um, arm length, leg length. So this is a great one um, to really get down. And I think a, a lot of people feel accomplished with it. We'll stay here for another 10 seconds. And we're going to go right into our hundreds. Start to roll it back down and stay down to the ground. Good. Arms down by your sides. Let's get you prepped here. Take an inhale. As you exhale, tucking your pelvis under into your imprint. Inhale, one leg comes to tabletop. Exhale, the other comes to meet. Inhale, prepare. Exhale, flexing forward, reaching your arms long. Let's go. Inhale, two, three, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale, two, three, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, twenty. Inhale, two, three, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, thirty. Inhale, two, three, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, forty. Inhale, two, three, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, fifty. Inhale, two, three, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, sixty. Inhale, two, Three, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, seventy. Keep it up. Three, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, eighty. Inhale, two, three, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, ninety. Inhale, two, three, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, one hundred. Inhale, bend your knees. And now exhale to set your upper body back down. Good. Keep your legs up. Separate hip distance. Heel taps. As you exhale, lower one heel. Inhale, return back up to tabletop, other side, exhale, lower, inhale, lift, we're still maintaining an imprinted spine, and really watching your rib cage here, meaning we're not popping out our rib cage, we still have our obliques engaged, and knitting our ribs together. One more each. Last one. Arms come out to a T, palms of the hands face up, glue your inner thighs together, waist whittler. You're gonna tilt from side to side. Think of a clock here. This is always my visualization. A 10 o'clock to a two o'clock. One hip is gonna lift off a little bit. Shoulders are flush against your mat. Good range of motion for your back. Let's do one more each. Awesome, good. Go ahead and set your feet down for a second. Now I'm gonna have you watch me on your end because it takes a little bit of coordination. You're gonna flex it forward. Your legs are split. Now, kind of like a bicycle, you're gonna bend in, reach it up, then extend Bend it out. Bend in, reach, and extend. It's like padding and belly, you know, uh, rubbing your belly at the same time. And then we're gonna reverse to where you lift, pull, and extend. Okay? 
So let's get you prepped here. Arms down by your sides. Take an inhale. As you exhale, tucking your pelvis under into your imprint. Inhale, one leg goes up to tabletop. Exhale, the other comes to meet. Now reach your both legs up to the ceiling, flex it forward, bring your right leg towards your head. Now, bend your right knee, start to reach your left leg up and extend and split, same thing, other side. And extend. It's like a little bicycle. Now, another option, you can always do this with your upper body down, and you can kind of do more of a pedaling motion with your legs and keeping them bent. So that's another option too. Now, reverse. You're gonna reach it away, pull your knee in, extend, and extend. Doing good. Last three, two, one, oh, let's pull your knees into your chest. Rock, gently rock from side to side, stretch it out. Awesome job. Coordination makes your brain think. Let's go back to a nice hip bridge. Both feet down to the ground, take an inhale. Exhale, pressing your hips up. And inhale to lower back down. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. Let's just do two more here. And lower. Last one. And lower. Good. All right, let's bring your, yourself up to a seated position for your half roll back. Take a seat toward the front edge of your mat. Let's dig your heels down. And then again, reaching over your legs. As you inhale, roll it halfway back. And now exhale. Pulling your body back over your legs. Inhale, roll it away. And exhale. Inhale, roll it away. And exhale, let's add some arm work. Inhale, roll it away. Reaching your arms up, lower, and now back over your legs. And again, roll it away. Arms reach up and lower and pull back over. Inhale, exhale, inhale, and exhale. Inhale, exhale, inhale, and exhale. Two more times. Last one. Nicely done. Okay, let's do a little stretch for our hamstrings and our hips. Let's bring our right foot forward so that we're into this lunge position. Bring your hands to the inside of your foot. Now you can either keep your knee down or reach it up to help increase your stretch. Now set your knee back down and then you're gonna bring your legs into this tripod position and just hold it here, allowing your head to drape. You can always bend your knees a little bit too, depending on flexibility. And go ahead and bend, let's switch out your legs. Hands come to the inside, either back knee stays down or lift, whatever feels best. sinking into your stretch. Let's come in back into your tripod position, walking your back foot in, squaring out your hips and allowing your head to drape. Good. Okay, lastly, take a seat. Let's stretch your hips into our hip cradle, crossing your left leg over, flexing your foot. And you can always push your body forward if you want, if you want a little bit more stretch.
Now allow your legs to kind of fall off to your left, or sorry, your right. You have your left leg crossed over. And return, let's do the other side. Holding it here. And allow your legs to kind of drop off to the side, torso stay, stay stable. I usually tell clients after a session of Pilates, hopefully you walk away feeling a little taller, feeling a little bit stronger in your abdominals and flexibility a little bit more lengthened. And go ahead and return. All right, everyone, thank you so much for joining Matt Pilates. Awesome to see you today.